uh, I thank you for being here and also I also exchanged uh, the thank you to ETH Global to have this uh, to to organize in this event and to support the, the project I'm going to introduce you today and also to some guests that have been uh, some of them have been traveling uh, uh, quite a lot for being here today so I'm I'm not going to, to give to go into details of uh, everything because I'm just introducing I'm just scratching the surface and the other talk will give you more in detail uh, uh, more in details some some aspect about aims I just want to tell you that we have two topics today one is the African Institute for Mathematical Science the short acronym is uh, aims and a project that is being carried out between ETH and AIMS that's uh, called uh, DocMeUp about uh, prenatal cares in uh, rural areas. So first of all, in case someone has never heard about AIMS, uh, we are not here, this is not, uh, uh, we're not here for talking about Africa, about charity. So this is actually the opposite. So we are here, here and actually will considering as an investment. Uh, of course, this is uh, maybe over speculating uh, figures I took from the economies where the, the GDP is increasing uh, with a higher slope in a steeper slope of. Oh, pro <laughs> but, <is> Professor Rosenthal? <laughs> it's here. Okay. Yes, uh, uh, steeper slope than uh, than Asia. So we we expect uh, uh, that there are several uh, promising opportunities in many fields, from uh, startup, from uh, number of uh, customers in some countries like Nigeria, Kenya, or even the incredible progress that is happening in uh, in Ethiopia and uh, and Rwanda. But we are not the business people. We are. Uh, what is it? Okay. We are university, so the field we are interested in is education and research. And of course, there are several opportunities in Africa that are uh, quite promising, but we are here for talking about AIMS, that is focus on math. Uh, focus on math doesn't mean that we do all, there is only math. So there are even seminars about uh, physics, neuroscience. Uh, there was a business plan competition with Raspberry Pi. There is the local uh, TEDx uh, event. Uh, There's an independent event uh, from, from TED organized by Ames. Uh, and, and of course, mathematical, uh, ma ma mathematics uh, lectures. And why math again? Because, not because as a mathematician would say math is fun, uh, but because it's believed that it's the central, uh, is the, is the, is the subject that in the long term will have the highest impact also in the other fields. So in the end, we, we can. So if we do something in math, probably the effect will be perpetuated also in everything, and that's why it's good to invest uh, more there. Even it's in the long, in, even it's a probably a long-term vision if it takes forever. But it's good to point high and invest in math. Okay, then I just tell you a few things about Ames. That's not a traditional university, as you probably are used to know and other people later will tell you more about these innovative uh, elements in teaching and so on. And first of all, and also is not one university, but it's more a network, of, a network of institutes. There were originally the first was in South Africa, then there was one in Cameroon, Ghana, Senegal, and now there is one in Tanzania where the arrow is lost between Linux and Mac. Uh, <laughs> But and anyway, and since it's quite really new this year, there are several opportunities. So if you Google it, there are plenty of opportunities of any levels, from lectures to uh, people doing wants to do research, or even if you're just a student and you want to do like uh, tutoring with the other students, uh, you can also apply for this. And uh, so. The other topic of today is, uh, I, was, I was telling you uh, that we've been carrying out, uh, carrying on uh, this uh, uh, collaboration project between ETH and uh, AIMS uh, was a project about uh, prenatal care in rural areas. Because uh, if you, okay, if you go in a big city, in, in, even in Ghana, in Africa, or generally the situations are more or less like similar, maybe even to Zurich, maybe 
more traffic jams, but uh, very similar. But when you go outside in the rural areas, the situations are a bit more complicated. So there is a high infant uh, mortality rate and uh, people, uh, gen pregnant women, generally restrain from going to, uh, to attend to prenatal care, uh, mainly because there, are, uh, there, are, there is a distance, there is no doctor locally, so they have to travel a lot. And of course, travel a lot is not also so easy, because it means that that day they're not going to work. So it's, it's getting more complicated if you don't live in a big city. And what we thought about was to, to come up with some kind of ideas uh, about this uh, problem. So as you see, it's not exactly math directly, because we started with doing something more medicine and social science, and of course something related to computer, then now I'm going uh, to computer science, and there was something about applied math. Unfortunately, about the applied math, we are a bit behind because we underestimate uh, uh, all the troubles we were running into, but there, there was a math, math element. So our approach is that uh, in each, we selected uh, some communities in, uh, in rural areas. We went there, we spoke with the chief, we selected a person uh, from this community that is, is not a doctor was not a doctor and nurse, was just a person with a secondary high school education. We trained this person uh, and we gave them a mobile phone that they can use to relate to a, a central system. Uh, this was done because they could monitor uh, locally all the pregnant women, so they were supposed to, uh, uh, not knowing everything of uh, medicine, but just to monitor uh, the pregnant women, and in case alert us about uh, about dangerous signs and receive some instruction back. At the same time, the problem was still that the distance. Anyway, to uh, acquire an a, a ultrasound or ultrasound scans, they have to travel a lot. So this problem was still there. So what we came up with was to have someone who was not again a, a doctor. Uh, but was somehow a bit more educated. We, it, uh, we had the pilot with uh, Benjamin was actually a um, graduate in math, so it's much more educated. <laughs> uh, that was acquiring uh, in the community the ultrasound scans, and almost in real time we were sending uh, the, the scans to the doctor to have some kind of feedback. And later they will tell you more about uh, how it ended up, but uh, was quite a successful uh, experience. Where, of course, this idea of uh, uh, selecting people directly from the community is not new. We didn't invent it, but it's been applied in uh, other several uh, experiments, let's say, pi or pilot. Uh, but the innovative thing for us was to include, uh, to include in, this, in this system the acquisition of ultrasound scans. So, okay, this is maybe a bit dark picture, but these are some of the, the women we were training. And, okay, and later they will go more, more in detail to what they were doing uh, in the community. And I have a video that is not... Where is it? Uh, plane? No, is it too late? Okay. So as this is Benjamin that, as I was telling you, is not a doctor, but anyway, he, he managed to learn to acquire these uh, scans and send them uh, uh, almost in, in real time to a doctor in the big cities. Okay. Hmm? What's this? What is this, this thing? <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> oh. How many PhDs you need to run a PowerPoint? 
Well, they can review it. Okay. And then there was the math. Okay. So generally, uh, to establish when there is a delivery date of a baby, okay, maybe some of you know it, uh, some of you know, but either you have to count some days from the last uh, menstrual period, or you need to, or a doctor has to analyze uh, uh, you look at an uh, uh, ultrasound scan and see from uh, some biometric index, like from the shape of the head, uh, predicts when the delivery date will be. And this, uh, none of them are accurate, so I think the, for the menstrual period you have plus or minus nine days, and for this one it can be plus or minus seven or five, depending on, uh, the, day, on the regression model you're using. And this is not opt it maybe it's optimal here, but uh, it's bit, you have to imagine again these women that someone is telling them, okay, come on, on Wednesday, you are delivering. Then she come on Wednesday and was wrong and say, ah, no, maybe you have to come in four days. It's, a, it's not optimal from, rural, from the point of view of rural areas because it means they have to travel again another time. They've, it's highly complicated. So uh, instead, there's been recently proved that there are some uh, features that are more precise from the point of view of neurosonography. Looking, I don't, okay, yeah. oh, maybe with this one, yes. So there are some structures that from the brain that are more, correlate more with the date, and you can predict better almost at, with zero error when is the delivery date. So the, our idea was to analyze from the point of view of digital image processing these pictures that in the end, if you consider they are just uh, geometric information, so we can find some uh, mathematical model for uh, finding these features that then they can be uh, maybe analyzed with some kind of machine learning and uh, automate this process of uh, telling directly when is the delivery date. Uh, unfortunately, we are a bit behind. We are still looking on what is the best uh, representation, if it's a level set or some statistical approach or uh, super ellipse, and then we will put together these things and come up with uh, uh, make uh, automatic this process of uh, more precise features for the delivery date. Uh, and this is the part where there was the math, but we are a bit behind, honestly. But we are, it's, it's ongoing. So, okay, if you are not, uh, if you are not yet convinced to go to Ghana, either for work with AIMS uh, or with one of these projects in collaboration. This was the view uh, from the lecturer's office. Uh, I, did, I didn't Photoshop anything, so if you want to go as a tourist, it's also not a bad idea, <laughs> in case you don't know Ghana. Okay, so... Now I want to introduce you someone who will go more in, uh, in details. Uh. Ah, I was in the end. Interesting. Okay, that's uh, David Stern. That's, uh, David Stern was, uh, had obtained his PhD at the University of Sheffield in algebra and, uh, and geometry. Then he worked, among the other things, as, uh, he originally was supposed to go there only for six months, but he ended up being there for six years, he will tell you why, at the Maseno University in Kenya. And among the other things, he was also the vice president of the International Association for uh, uh, statistical education, and from uh, October 2013 to October 2014, so now, he has been the project development, in charge of the project development of AIMS, and, and now is working as a math science for the Statistical Service Center of the University of Re uh, Reading in, uh, in UK. So, let's welcome David.